Hey everyone, this is Mike and Mail at Sweetbriar Farm, and we planned this perfectly because we just got home with a surprise. We bought a couple of cows that Kelsey doesn't know about. So she's not home right now. We're gonna put them in this uh, pen here. We have got a new cow calf pair, Hattie and Jesse. We're gonna unload them and we'll introduce you. This is Hattie. This is her calf, Jesse. She loves you, there. So we took a bet to see how long it would take Kelsey to notice these two new cows here. Because our plan for this weekend is to move Ladybug and Katinka up here, actually to the front pen, uh, because they're due to calf soon. So we're going to set up a camera and we'll see when Kelsey comes out to do her goat chores if she notices these new cows or not. Make it all okay. I hope you enjoy our skits. <laughs> Kelsey needed to get some anger out. Yeah, let's get out. So, some so this was the perfect skit for her today. She knew we were getting these cows. She's not think super we have too many cows. cows. Well, the good thing about cows is you can always eat them. It's a lot of beef. Well, you can eat them slowly. <laughs> <laughs> a quarter at a time. So, what did you bring home? Because I don't really know. I can't keep up. So this is, yeah, she knew uh, I was, we were buying these cows, but she didn't come with me to get them. But that's Hattie and Jesse. They're both A2A2 homo pulled Dexter cows, registered Dexters. And one interesting thing is that Hattie's great grandfather, I guess you would say, is Cheney's Titan, which is the first cow that was or first calf that was born on the Cheney's farm. So the Cheney's, Mark and Kathy Cheney down in Tennessee, um, that's where we got our bull Mr. President from. I saw that in the pedigree and I said, hey, we have this relative of one of your cows. And she told me that was their first calf born on the farm, Cheney's Titan. That was kind of cool. Yeah. But Hattie's six years old and Jesse is her, I guess, I think fifth calf or fourth calf. And then she was vet confirmed bred. That was back in mid-September, confirmed bred at about 60 days. So she'll calve around the same time, maybe earlier than our cows will calve. My, my sister shared this post this morning about we need to live our lives and appreciate what we have while we're here. So this is a good opportunity to share that we are living and leaving a legacy, whether it be our children or our 18 freezers full of beef 18 freezers <laughs> full of beef that will feed families or in a pedigree that will live longer than we will so like our, our legacy will live on in our dexter cattle registry i guess uh i think we're, we feel really grateful that we get to live a really deliberate life that's rewarding and we're enjoying it while we're here we're not living for the weekends we're not working for retirement. I mean, we're saving and we enjoy the weekends, but 
every day is the day we enjoy and look forward to right. and that's special so s somebody recently commented on one of our older videos that uh it said uh, leave the animals alone do something better don't you have something better to do in your life and i responded well come to think of it no no i don't have anything better to do in my life apparently we are exploiting these creatures <laughs> on youtube which i think we're just uh, running a small farm and leaving a little little bit of legacy she's got nice teats yeah those are pretty big it's teat teat so she is pretty friendly she's taking treats from maylee which maylee's excited for maybe we'll be able to milk her once or twice next year to try her out <laughs> always fun to throw a cow in the stanchion and try to milk her but this weekend we actually we're going to move Katinka and Ladybug up front here because they're due to calf sometime mid-October or late October not really sure so we got to move some cows around we have to we have to wean our bull calf Gandolfini and early November we'll be taking him down to Bean Legacy Farm where we're just doing a bull, bull plot. I think he'll be excited to get to go be, I don't know, a boy somewhere. He seems like he's best buddy with his dad. Every time I go out and look at the cows, Gandolfini's hanging out with his dad. I'll, I'll link the video to the interview we did with Mark Cheney about raising and managing Dexter bulls, which applies to, I guess, what any bull, but that's one of the things that they do is they put their potential future herd sires back in with their dad who they raise up and train and have good temperaments and they say they teach the young how to be a bull so yeah he's taking after his daddy it's a good thing that's yep. why we like him yeah yeah he's a real nice looking guy so anyway more to come thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one later guys mm -hmm.